I'm gonna show you how to get free TV in your car. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to install free TV in your car and also hook up a PlayStation 2. Full entertainment system in your car and I'm gonna show you everything you're gonna need. I'll list everything, all the products in the video description below. But here's just a few items. Of course, I got the PS2. I got the um, splitter so I can switch from AV1 and AV2. I got my car stereo that accepts uh, audio video inputs. And I also got this cable and off air TV box. This is a digital converter box. Even even though my car stereo has a built-in TV tuner, it's it has an analog TV tuner. And my area, Tampa, it's actually um, all digital TV now. So I need a digital converter box and also an off-air antenna. And I also got an AC splitter so I can connect the PS2 and the TV box. And I got a power inverter which plugs into my cigarette lighter and it converts. 12 volts from my cigarette lighter to 120 volts AC. And this is up to 150 watts. And it has USB outlets so you can charge your phone. All right, so right here, I'm gonna plug in my power inverter, which is zip tied under underneath my dashboard. And this goes to the extension cord. The extension cord goes under, and I just, you gotta lift this up. You can just pretty much tuck it under. You see my fingers? And just push it in there. And it, I ran it right here in my center console box and it plugs into my cigarette lighter port right in here. In my 2006 Mustang, for some reason when my car is turned off, my cigarette lighter ports are still active. I don't want to kill my car battery so I, I uh, connected a kill switch and just basically cuts the power from my cigarette lighter port. That's on and that's off. If you want me to do a separate video how to connect the kill switch to your cigarette lighter port, just leave a, a comment below and I'll make a separate video for that. Now I got an inch and a half hole saw. I'm gonna drill a hole in my glove box. All right, so I drilled about almost a two inch hole in my glove box. This is for the exhaust so the PS2 doesn't overheat. And uh, don't worry, there's uh, air up here. This is all open above here, so it can still get fresh air and then exhaust a hot air out through this hole. So this is the exhaust right here. And this hole's big enough to run all the cables in too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this off antenna in here. Off antenna. Now I'm gonna run the power cable for the PS2. I got this AV wires connected to the output and this is gonna connect to my car stereo, AV input, in the back of my car stereo. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna plug in to your video input on your radio. Yellow goes to yellow, white goes to white, red goes to red. So the audio is plugged in and the video is plugged in. Okay, so I got the AV cables coming from the car stereo AV input right here. And I got these AV cables on the output and that's gonna connect to my car stereo. Video is the yellow and the white is the audio and the red is the right audio. And AV1, I'll have the converter box plugged into right here, the AV1 input. And then I have the PS2 connected to the AV2. And just like that. Now when I switch right here, that's the PS2 mode. And that's the digital convert TV box right here. And so whatever I select, it's gonna toggle to the output. And I got my Gorilla Tape on it. I'm using rubbing, rubbing alcohol to clean the surface. Go ahead and just mount this on the side right here. And I'm gonna send these cables down here and that's gonna to go to the converter box. And I have my anti-skid mat. Just place that right there. Power cable from a PS2. My AV cable. Got some zip ties, clean this up. Go ahead and set this in now. Push this all the way in. That's why I made the hole so big is because 
I needed to push those uh, those plugs in the hole. And yeah, we're opening and closing it. Works. Now I have this power inverter down here mounted. I'm gonna hook up the splitter to it. All right, I have the wires coming out from the glove box. This is for the digital converter box, and this is the off antenna plug. And this is for the power for the PS2. Now I'm gonna zip tie this under here. Okay, I zip tied the power brick to the wire harness underneath my dashboard. Now my TV box, I got a mount. I'm just gonna use an L bracket right here. And look inside that vent, there's nothing in there, so I'm gonna put a screw in there and hold it in place. There's a video outputs. Antenna plugs in right here. All right, I'm gonna select my AV input. AV in. Turn on the kill switch. Now my cigarette lighter port is active. Turn on the cable box or TV converter box. Pretty cool. I'm at like almost 50% signal. And the antenna is in the glove box. Uh, you want to hit menu now. And now you can uh, do a channel search and you want to do an auto search. It takes up to 45 minutes to auto search all the channels. And then I'll, you know, bas basically I'll program all your channels to the you know, TV converter box. But I have selected antenna power off and my signal type is uh, not cable, but it's an off antenna. And that's all you gotta do, really. And then auto search your channels. And now, I'm gonna switch this to PS2, AV2, and then just press the power button. And I got the wireless transmitters, or receivers, wireless receivers for the controller. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Let's go ahead and test it out. Now when I want to turn off my car, turn off my car just like this, and hit that kill switch, and everything turns off. My PlayStation, the cable box, well, the TV box, and the inverter, everything turns off so I won't drain my battery. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, click on that subscribe button right there. Now if you know anyone that this video may interest, go ahead and click on that share button and share it to them. Thanks guys for watching and check out my car electronics playlist.